let's jump right in. Okay, so let's get started. Let's jump over to MailChimp. And if you haven't began using it yet, you can get a free trial. Just hit start free trial. So you can get all these different packages. You can get essential, premium, standard. They all have their own pros and their own cons. Have a little look at that. But for this video, for today, we're just going to subscribe to the free package. So we'll receive an activation email, go into your emails, click the link, verify your profile. It'll just run through some standard questions, your name, your business, so on and so forth. So sign up properly before we start this email campaign. All right, so now we have our MailChimp account. Let's go to the website, which the homepage looks something like this. Let's go up to the top left corner and hit create. We've got three different options. We've got a regular email, landing page, or a campaign. What we want to do is a regular email, and then you'll be see, you'll see this. So with the title up here, you can change it to whatever you like. You're the only person going to see this. Um, it won't go out to the people that you're emailing it, so you can call it whatever you like. Let's go to who we want to send it to. Now, I have no audiences set up because it's a new profile, so let's go to Import Contacts. What I'm going to do is hit Copy and Paste, and I'm just going to put a random email in there. Essentially, when you come to it, you can build up audiences, so with one click, you can send it to a whole group of people, a whole raft of people all at once. It's a great feature and very helpful. You can say who it's from. So I'm going to put my name and my email address. Then we want to add a subject. Now the subject is very important. This is going to determine whether people open your email or they don't open your email. It gives you a few little guides here of what to do and what not to do. Try using no more than nine words. Try to use no more than one emoji. You want to avoid the, your campaign going into people's spam. So for this, I'm going to be quite tactical. I'm going to say you won't believe, let's say, you won't believe this. One exclamation mark, and I'm going to put a little emoji in there, something a little fun. People tend to open up emails with emojis, but you can only have one. Otherwise, it's going to go directly to your spam account. Perfect, a little emoji. Now, the preview text is a line that's going to come up. Um, usually, when you open your emails, you'll see the first line of text from that email. But with MailChimp, you can decide what that says. It doesn't have to be what the first line of the email is. So I'm going to call it the cheapest way to make it today. Why not? Once you have that, it's safe. Next, we want to edit our send time. I'm going to have it sent now. And then we come to the most critical part, design email. <clears throat> so once you click in here, you'll see there's all sorts of different templates. Uh, they all have their own different features and different layouts. Now, if you want to, you can save templates that you've used before. You can look at your recently sent email so you can edit an old one. Or if you're a coder, you can code your own email. But for today, let's have a little look at the templates and we'll work from there. So this one looks good to me. I'm just going to hit apply. This is where you do the email design. You'll see on the left hand side, we have uh, different kind of boxes that you can throw in. We've got heading, paragraph, button, divider. We're going to cover, uh, we're going to cover the most important ones of these in this video. So as you can see, when you double click into a box, when you double click into one of the headings, you, you've got all these options. You can change the font, the paragraph, you can make it bold, you can make it italic. You can change the block background to color. Let's just make this uh, fuchsia for fun. You can choose different layouts here, uh, which just changes the way that the email uh, sits. But let's go and have a little change of the logo. With your logo, you can add a link to click um, through to. So I'm just going to put my email address here. You can put an alternative text with the with the logo, so it could be anything. Check out this website, whatever. You can change the padding, change the block background. You've got all these options to customize your uh, customize your logo as you will. As you can see, when you change the padding, you've got more. You've got more background coming in there. Great. 
So you've got a dynamic content settings, but this is only for the premium accounts. So I'm not going to cover this in this video. Okay, so let's go and add an image. So you can browse image. Uh, within MailChimp, you can have as many images stored on the cloud as possible. I currently have none, so let's go to upload. Let's just pick my first image and bring it in. Looks great to me. That looks great. Here you can edit the image, you can browse your images, you can swap it out, you can move the placement, you can duplicate, you can delete. And if we come into edit image here, we can change the crop size, we can make it square, we can make it landscape, we can put filters on here. Let's just fill one on for now. Okay, you can change the focus, you can change the text, you can put a text design on. This is a very nice feature. Um, they've got their little graphical designs that you can just immediately whack on to your image. All right, we're going to take all of that off because I'm happy with the image as is. Let's just hit close. It's time to design your emails, correct? So let's change this heading. I just double click in here, put a little bit of text to explain what the email is about. Uh, the coolest thing ever, we'll call it. Again, you can change the font, uh, the color whatever suits the style of your email. So with this, you can duplicate the block and you can delete it on the, the little right hand drop down menu, quite handy. So in styles here, you can change uh, the different styles between desktop and mobile. You can add images, you can add products, you can add GIFs, Instagram, so with your desktop version, you're going to have more space to take up on the customer's screen as opposed to in mobile. Mobile is for mobile phones, so it's a shorter screen, um, and MailChimp allows you to optimize for both. So here, we just throw a GIF on if we wanted to. I don't know why you would do that, but let's just put it on for the sake of this video. And let's just take it off because it doesn't work. But you would only see that on desktop because of the wider aspect ratio. You would not see that on mobile. To change the text direction, right to left, left to right. So yeah, you can change between desktop and mobile as, as much as you like. Let's change the button shape for desktop. And go square, round, pill. I like the pill. I'm going to make the button uh, blue on desktop but not on mobile. And I'll put the button border bigger just to, to give you an example of what that looks like. And I'll change the divider to six pixels, make it dotted. We don't really have any dividers, but if we do, we'll look great. And here, we're, and here we have what it looks like on mobile. Again, you can make changes to the padding, the left, the right. There's less to do with mobile because there's less screen to be taken up. You can preview these things. Uh, if you want to see it bigger, you can see desktop, mobile. And if you're a premium member, you'll be able to access the inbox. All right, let's go back. Let's just come in here and change the button text uh, to buy now and link it to uh, our website. And let's link it to our website. Honestly, you've got code K. That looks great. Again, you've got all sorts of alignment options here. Let's have a look at some of these other buttons. Let's put our socials in. In fact, with this, in fact, with this template, the social buttons are already there. So let's double click in. Here you can link up your Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter, uh, all with one click on a nice little buttons. As you can see, you can change the buttons, the icon style, you can uh, Make them fit however way you like. You can change the size of them, the alignment, the color. I quite like the way they are, so let's keep them with that. All right, let's have a look at bringing a video into our email. Videos are quite uh, data heavy, so I tend to avoid putting as many videos as possible because it takes longer to load the email. But just for argument's sake, you would bring this across. You'd put the YouTube uh, handle in there. The, the YouTube link and that'll come up. You can put your alternative text here again, whatever that's going to be, which is great. Videos look great and, and they drive a lot of sales, but as I say, they're quite text heavy. 
You can put surveys in here. Uh, they do it through Chroma, which I currently am signed up to. But if you want to have a survey on your email, that's the button you use. Sign up to Chroma, create the survey, then bring it across. In the footer here, you can change all this information except the unsubscribe button. MailChimp says that you have to keep the unsubscribe button, which is fair. Okay, now we're reasonably happy. Let's go to save and exit. And here, this is where we're going to send our email out. It also shows you when you've got content that can't be used. Um, and you have to resolve these before you can send the email out. Otherwise, MailChimp won't let you send it out. Let's go back into our email and resolve these issues. And it's also wanting me to uh, replace the logo. So I'm just going to bring a random logo across. Let's take this one. That looks great. As you can see from here, I'm happy with that. And let's go to save and exit again. I've resolved those issues and MailChimp had uh, sent out the campaign. So we save and exit. Okay, it says here in the content that we're totally fine. So we hit send. You're about to send an email to two people. That's great. Send it out and your email is gone. Your email's out there. Another job well done. You can check your email reports here. This will give you a rundown of how many people opened your email, where the clicks came from, if anybody clicked through on the links. All this information is invaluable when you're doing uh, email marketing. You've got orders, order value, total revenue, best practices. Did you do? Did you create the most effective email? Your click performance. But here and the other side as well, you've also got the campaign manager. So this will bring all your emails together, all your campaigns in the past, and you can look at all the data all at once, which is a great feature. It's very useful. That's how to create a stunning email campaign in MailChimp. Thank you very much for your time, guys. And if you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below. See you soon.